Uh, so some others may be uh, joining us as we as we go along, but uh, uh, we are our uh, our minion. Um, uh, Shabbat shalom, good uh, yontif, good morning. Shmini uh, atzeret. In the Torah, we're told that the eighth day from Sukkot was a finishing day, and atzeret in Hebrew also a holiday. Uh, Simchat Torah originated as a way of celebrating Shmini atzeret. Uh, in Babylonia, the Jews had the custom of reading the whole Torah uh, through over the course of one year. Uh, already in Talmudic times, it was the custom to finish the annual reading of the Torah on the second day of Shemini Atzeret. Uh, here's where it gets a little bit confusing between our calendar and the traditional calendar. Uh, Reformed Jews have one day of Shemini Atzeret, and so hence Simchat Torah and Shemini Atzeret for Reformed Jews are on the same day. Uh, what happens uh, with um, uh, traditional Jews is that you'll see Shemini uh, Atzeret today, Simchat Torah tomorrow. At some point, the custom arose to begin uh, the reading then too. So not just the completion, but also the, the reading. Uh, by the 13th or 14th centuries, the Babylonian custom had already become universal. Uh, and it's been likened uh, to what was done for a groom. And indeed, as we saw last night, and we'll see again this morning, uh, the names associated with the Aliyot are uh, Chatan Torah and Chatan Breshit, uh, bridegroom of the Torah, bridegroom of uh, Genesis, uh, and then uh, as we've done in Chatan Bakala, uh, bride and bridegroom uh, uh, of, of both. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, before there were honeymoons, uh, the groom would return to the synagogue on Shabbat after the wedding and receive a hero's welcome. Uh, and special hymns greeted his arrival to a seat of honor uh, reserved for him, and sweets were showered on him, uh, and uh, there was a special formal aliyah. Uh, and that custom became transferred uh, to uh, Simchat uh, Torah. Um, we begin on page um, one, no, 418. Here she is right here. Um, and uh, uh, Linda uh, uh, begins us with, as we uh, call our minion water, uh, with my. We turn to page 432. This within uh, the morning blessings, Elu Devarim She'en Lahem Shior. These are the things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion, arriving early for study, morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people. The Talmud Torah can neged kulam, but the study of Torah encompasses them all. We turn to page 435 uh, for our teachers. For our teachers and their students and the students of 
the students. We ask for peace and loving kindness, and let us say amen. And for those who study Torah here and everywhere, may they Thank you, Linda. That melody has been in my head since you did it on Yom Kippur. We had it in the, the service on Yom Kippur afternoon. It has stayed there. What, what a beautiful melody um, and beautiful words. Uh, page 445 uh, for Psalm uh, 150. Uh, Hallelujah. which comes to us through uh, Dennis Gilliam. Uh, that melody is a Sufi, uh, an Islamic Sufi melody, which then became uh, uh, adopted uh, uh, and uh, for, um, uh, for us and for, for this psalm. Um, and uh, hearing it again, the, that, that beautiful sense of inclusion. Um, a very traditional uh, mel melody uh, going back uh, uh, within our tradition uh, is the melody for the Chatzy Kaddish. Uh, its words are found on page 451. Yid Gadav, Yid Kadash, Merava, Ve Alma Divra, Hute, Ve Amli, Mahute, Ve Haye Honu, Yomehon, Ufhaye de Kobet Israel, Magala, Bagala, Uviz Mahan Karif, Ve Meru. Amen. Yehishme Rabam Borach, Le Alam Ulme Maya, Yit Barach, Yit Barafish Sabach, Vipa Arvi Ramam, Vid Nase, Vid Hadar, Vid Hale, Vid Halal, She made a Kurisha. Leila min kol berchata v'shirata tush berchata v'nechemata damiram be'alma v'meru. Amen. Page four fifty two. For those who are able, we invite you to rise for the baruchu. Mm. 
Baruch Hu et Adonai, Tame Barach. Baruch Adonai, Tame Barach, Le'olam Ba'eh. Baruch Adonai, Tame Barach, Le'olam Ba'eh. I read on page 455. The world is sunlight, restoring the soul, rejoicing the heart, bringing light to the eyes, more welcome than gold, a Torah from heaven. I have no light to give the morning. My Torah, my special human gift is words. As I bring my words forth from silence, welcome them. You who redeems the sun from darkness, Baruch atah Adonai Yotzer Hamarot. Page 457. Our rabbis taught 613 mitzvot were given to Moses. Micah reduced them to three. Do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. Isaiah based all the mitzvot upon two of them. Keep justice and righteousness. Amos, Amos, saw one guiding principle upon which all 613 are founded, seek me and live. Habakkuk expounded the Torah on the basis of a single thought, the righteous shall live by their faith. Akiva taught the great principle of the Torah is expressed in the mitzvah, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But ben Azai found a principle even more fundamental. This is the story of humanity. When God created us, God made us in the divine image. And Hillel summed up the Torah in this maxim. What is hateful to you, do not do to others. The rest is commentary. You must go and study it. Baruch atah Adonai, ha-bocher be'amo Yisrael be'ahava. Page 458. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem, Kirvod Mahochuto, Please be seated. The Vea Hafta will be found on page 460. Vea Hafta Hehehet Adonai Elohecha Vechol of Avacha who from Nashecha who Vechol Neodecha Veha you. Adavarim ha heliva, Ashera no he mitzavecha, Hayo maleva vecha, Vishinan taham levanecha, Vidi bar taham baham, Vishiv teha bebe teha, Uvlet teha badere, Ushok beha ha Ukshar tam le ho 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 tal yo decha be ha yule to ta fa ho ho tbe ne necha uch ta tam al mi zuzo tbe techa hu visharecha le man tisperu vahasi tehem et komit otai vihi tem kidoshim le lo Ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher Potsay Tieschem, Meheret Mitrahim, Vihiot Lachem Lelohim. Ani Adonai Elohechem. Emet, we turn to page 463. When justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of selfless devotion, 
we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness, then goodness enters our lives and we can begin to change the world. Michamocha will be found on page 466. Michamocha by Lima Donai, Michamocha Nedar Bakodesh, no rate he load, Ose Pele, no rate he load, Ose Pele, Shira had a shash, Shira Hugu. The shimmer has a fatayam. Yahad kulam hodu. The himli hu veame bu. Adunahim loaf ne olam bahed. Adunahim loaf ne olam bahed. Adunahim loaf. Amen. I read on page 469, pray as if everything depended on God, act as if everything depended on you. Across the page, page 468 begins our tefillah. We'll be chanting on uh, the right hand pages uh, through page 472. Uh, those who are able, we invite you to rise. Adonai sifatati tahu fiati tehilatecha. Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohei Avotei Vimoteinu Elohei Avraham Elohei Yitzchak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Sarah Elohei Rivka Elohei Rachel Elohei Leah Hagel Hagadol Hagibur Bahanara El Yahu Gomel Katatim Tobim, Vikonehi Hakohu, Vizoher Hafsev of Behimahot, who may be Bula Lif Nebenehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Melako Zero Moshia, whom again Baruch Hatah Adonai, Magin Abraham Vizrat Sarah. Atagi pur leolam Adonai, mechaye ha kol atavrav levoshiva. Mechachel chayim bechesed, mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim. Samek noflim velofe cholim, umatir asurim. Umekaye memunatohu, mishe ne afar. Mehamoha bal gibugot, umidal melach. Melak me me to mehaye, umat me a yeshua. Venehemana tali hayota ko, Baruchata Adonai, Mechayehi ha ko. 
Praise the light that shines before us, through us, after us. Please be seated. Page 489. You have called us to peace, for you are peace. Grant us the vision to realize these aims. Where there are ignorance and superstition, let there be enlightenment and knowledge. Where there are prejudice and hatred, let there be acceptance and love. Where there are fear and suspicion, let there be confidence and trust. Where there are tyranny and oppression, let there be freedom and justice. Where there are poverty and disease, let there be prosperity and health. Where there are strife and discord, let there be harmony and peace. We pause for silent prayer. Linda is going to uh, reprise uh, from, uh, as she did so beautifully last night, some Hakafa music. I'm going to uh, take a Torah out from uh, the ark. Uh, I'll walk around, uh, as it were, the, uh, the Bima seven times. There's supposed to be seven uh, Hakafot with passing off the Torah. Uh, obviously, we're doing it a little bit different uh, this morning. <laughs> Israel, Israel, be all right to Haku. Israel, Israel, be all right to Haku. Israel, I'm 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 Isra
Yisrael, Am Yisrael Chai. Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael, Am Yisrael Chai. Thank you. So, uh, a very dear friend of mine, um, uh, a, my college uh, roommate, uh, asked, uh, uh, one time we were in a conversation about Midrash uh, recently, and, and he described Midrash as a type of biblical fan fiction from the rabbis. I thought, what a great way of understanding it. Uh, the rabbis taking characters and storylines and adding to them, uh, for uh, instance, uh, on the concept of the Hebrew alphabet, and by extension, a synthesis of Torah and of Judaism, uh, the rabbis offer a, a wonderful uh, midrash. And uh, to do the midrash uh, this morning, to explain the midrash, you can see in front of you uh, the Hebrew alphabet. So this is what our sages said to Rabbi Joshua Ben Levy. They said, today some young children came to the house of study. They came to the Beit Midrash and they told us things the likes of which have not been said even in the days of Joshua Ben Nun, of Joshua son of Nun. In other words, even from the days of the first transmission of the Torah, uh, we had never heard anything like this before, but um, they loved it so much. They then repeated what the kids have to say. They said, uh, Aleph Bet means learn wisdom. Uh, Aleph uh, Bet uh, uh, means Aleph Bina. Um, Gimel Dalet, uh, the next two letters, uh, means uh, be kind to the poor. Gimel Dalin. And then they said, why is the foot of the Gimel stretched towards the base of the Dalit. Why is the foot stretched towards? Uh, because it is the way of the benevolent to run after the poor to help them out. And why is the foot of the Dalit stretched towards the Gimel? Uh, because the poor must make oneself available to the benevolent. And why is the face of the Dalit averted from the Gimel, because help must be given in secrecy or privacy so that the poor will not be humiliated by the presence of the giver. And the He and the Vav are two letters that form part of the ineffable name and part of uh, God's uh, name, yud He vav He. Uh, uh, and the Zion uh, and the Set. Uh, and the Tet, and the Yod, uh, and the, the Kaf, and the Lamed. Uh, if you act thus as commanded, the Holy One will sustain you, Zen, be gracious to you, Chen, show goodness, Metiv, uh, and give you a heritage, Yerusha, and bind a crown, Keter, uh, on uh, about your head in the world to come, the ulam haba. The open mem and the closed mem, meaning uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the mem uh, and the final mem, uh, signify that one utterance in scripture may be open and another may be closed. So in other words, one uh, thing which we read in scripture might be open and apparent, the other might be closed, meaning very esoteric. The bent nun and the upright nun, so the bent nun, the regular nun, and then the final nun, the upright, mean that one who is faithful, ne'aman, with, when bent with suffering in this world, will be made upright in the world to come. Samech and ayin stand for uphold the poor, samoch aniyim. And the bent pay and the final pay, the open pay, signify that there are times when the mouth, the pay, should be open and times when it should stay closed. The bent tzadi and the erect final tzadi signify 
that while in this world, the righteous one, the tzaddik, is bent down, in the world to come, one will be enabled to stand erect. Kof signifies holy, kadosh. Resh signifies wicked, rasha. Why is the face of the kof averted from the resh? Because the holy one says, I cannot bear looking at the wicked. And why is the upper tip of the crown over the kof turned towards the resh? Because the Holy One says, if the wicked, Rasha, repents, I will bind a crown over one's head like the crown over the kof. And why is the leg of the kof detached from its upper part? To show that when the wicked one, Rasha, repents, one can enter through the opening between the two parts of the kof. Shin stands for falsehood, Sheker, and Tav for truth, Emet. Why do the letters of the sheker, uh, of sheker in the alphabet closely follow one another while the letters of emet are far apart? So if you notice the word sheker, the letters are all uh, close together. They're right there. While emet, uh, the tab is there, uh, the mem is there, and the aleph is at the beginning. It's literally the first, middle, and last letters of the alphabet because falsehoods follow close upon one another, while truth is encountered only at intervals far apart. Why does sheker, falsehood, stand on one leg, while emet, truth, is made up of the letters aleph, mem, and tav, which have solid brick line bases? Because truth stands firmly, falsehood does not. So we take these insights with us as we read the end and the beginning of the Torah uh, itself, uh, which we link back to the time of Moses and Joshua ben Nun, in which every letter, uh, there are uh, just about 80,000 letters in the Torah. Every letter and the spaces in between them is considered holy and special. Now, for our first uh, aliyah to the Torah, and this will be found uh, on the right, we turn to page 506. And again, uh, this is that uh, uh, special aliyah of uh, Chatan and Kalat Torah. Mirishut uh, Ha'el Hagadol, with permission of the great, mighty, and awesome God, and with permission of the Torah, more precious than fine gold and pearls, I will open my mouth in song and melody to thank and praise the one who dwells in life, for giving us life, sustaining us, and enabling us to rejoice in Simchat Torah. Amod, 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 Indi, 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 arise, give praise to the Creator. May God give us the privilege to witness our children and grandchildren occupied with the delight with the Torah in delight. Ya Amod and Ta Amod, Hatan Bakala, Torah. And so uh, uh, we invite everyone on our Zoom to uh, join uh, with uh, me uh, in uh, the blessing uh, prior to the reading of the Torah. And um, I will. Uh, so, in a moment, uh, the, the segment of the Torah. Let's uh, go like so, so that uh, everyone uh, can see that this is the, the end of uh, the Torah. And uh, I'm going to read towards uh, the end. Uh, right there, and I, I invite you uh, to join in the blessing uh, before the reading of the, and I'll close back up 
the scroll with the blessing. And this blessing is before you. We're on page 507. Baruch et Adonai Hamborach. Baruch Adonai Baruch Leolam Vahed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmin V'Natan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Amen. Lokam nabi od be Israel kemoshe. There never again rose a prophet like Moses. Asher yada'o Adonai panim el panim who knew God face to face. Lachol haotot v'hamotim and all of the signs and wonders. Asher shlacho Adonai la asot that God sent uh, Moses to do be'eretz Mitzrayim in the land of Egypt. Lafaro lachol avadav to Pharaoh and all of his servants. Lachol arzo. Into all of his land. Ulachol Hayat Hazakan with the uh, mighty arm, mighty hand, Lachol Hamara Hagadol, and all of the uh, awesome deeds, Asher Asa Moshe, that Moses did, Le'ene Kol Yisrael, in the sight of all, the last word of the Torah, Israel, Yisrael. Blessing after. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet Bechaye Olam Nata Betochenu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen. Chazak Chazak Benit Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and let us strengthen one another. Torah, as we know, is our uh, never-ending story. And having completed uh, reading uh, the Torah, we uh, immediately uh, turn around and uh, begin uh, again. Uh, And uh, this is now uh, page 508 and 509. And... um, Dan, if you would be so kind as to be our Chatan uh, uh, Bere uh, sheet, uh, I can't think of anything uh, which would be actually more fun than to, to see you first do the blessing uh, and then see you uh, read uh, the, the Torah uh, itself. Uh, amod, 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 uh, Ya Amod Chatan uh, Torah. Arhu et Adonai Hamborach. Aruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vahed. Aruch Adonai Hamborach Leolam Vahed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melechalam Asher Vachar Banu Mikol Hamim Venatan Lanu et Torato. Aruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Up. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I'm just going to stop share. Make sound is correct. I apologize about that, uh, and we'll do this one more time. Amen. Breshit Elohim et Hashamayim et Aretz. Ha'aretz, 
Ayomer Elohim Yehor, Ayor, Ayar Elohim, Et Haor Kito, Ayavdel Elohim, Ben Haor Ben Hachoshech, Aikra Elohim, La or yom la hoshech kara laila, a yer vahivo ker yom echad. A yom erlohim, yhiraki abetochamayim, vihim avdil, ben mayim la mayim, vayas elohim. Et Arakia, I am Del Ben Hamaim, Asher Mitahat Rakia, Uven Hamaim, Asher me Alarakia, Baikhein, Baikra Rakia Shamaim, Vahir Vahibo Ker, Yom Sheni, Vayom Erlohim, Yikavu Hamaim, Mitahat Hashamaim, El Makom Echad, Tera E Hayabasha. Vaihein, Vaikra Elohim, La Yabasha Eretz, Ulamikve Hamaim Karayamim, Vayar Elohim Kito, Vayom Elohim, Tarche Haaretz Deshe. Esav Mazri Azera, Ez Puri, O Sepuri Lamino, Asher Zarovo Al Haaretz, Aichen, Tote Haaretz, Deshe. Esav Mazri Azara Lemenehu Veheitso Sepri Asher Zaravo Lemenehu Vayar Elohim Kito Vayar Vayivo Ker Yom Shlishi Yesha Koach. Uh, I'll just read the translation of the first day. When God began to create the heaven and the earth, and the earth being unformed and void with darkness over the surface of the deep, and a wind from God sweeping over the water, God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and darkness God called night. And there was evening, there was morning, a first day. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam asher natan lanu Torah emet v'chaye olam nata b'tochenu Baruch atah Adonai noten ha'torah Amen Amen, thank you. As the uh, Torah is now, uh, uh, eight, one of our Torahs is now returned to the Ark, it's Chaim He will be found uh, on the bottom of page 514. <clears throat> Ha 
Ecclesiastes, Kohelet, is a book traditionally read on Sukkot, the holiday which we've just completed. Ecclesiastes, the book of Ecclesiastes, read on Sukkot. But its impact extends through Sukkot to today, to Shmini Atzeret. In a well-known section, chapter 3, uh, this well-known section begins, everything has a season, a time for every experience under heaven. Uh, we know this from the book of Ecclesiastes. There's also that, that wonderful folk song uh, picking up on this exact same thing. Everything has a season, a time for every experience under heaven. Uh, and a colleague of mine notes that this directly applies to this holiday of Shmini Atzeret Simchat Torah. For after offering in this section of Ecclesiastes 3 uh, a number of numerous short pairings, a time to live and a time to die, a time to plant, a time to uproot what is planted, Ecclesiastes says, eight sephod, the eight rakod, a time to mourn and a time to dance. This day is both. We both mourn, we remember, we recite Yiskor, and we are to dance. We are to celebrate our connection to the Torah. What of these mixed emotions? As my colleague observes, it is possible for mourning and dancing to coexist. When a righteous person dies, says Midrash Echa, God is filled with grief for the sake of humanity's loss. Yet God rejoices when the soul of a righteous person enters eternity. As the Midrash teaches us to broaden our perspective, to see as it were through God's eyes, as well as our own. When confronted with loss after much suffering, we too search out those understandings that might make us affirm hope and blessing. And as we reflect on the totality of the lives of those we loved amidst the holiday dedicated to finding joy in our learning and pride for our people, we too see reason to dance. As Ecclesiastes says, eight sephod, the eight rakod, a time to mourn and a time to dance. This year, of course, at the intersection of the two, COVID-19 impacts our worship as it precludes opportunities to dance together. That's another way in which the pandemic has deepened isolation. Still, we remain one as a community. And in this season, we continue to avow cherished legacies and memories. Hence, we gather this day for Yisker, our service of remembrance. For we can bless the memories of our dear ones and make the most of our own days. We will mourn and we will dance. We turn to 
page 575. Uh, uh, this beautiful reflection was uh, written by the uh, late uh, Rabbi Alvin Fine. He was uh, the reform rabbi. He was the rabbi of uh, the congregation in um, Wilmington, uh, Delaware. Uh, I was there um, uh, just this past uh, uh, October, uh, November, for the funeral of a, of a, uh, of a dear one. And uh, when you walk in, uh, you see uh, a big poster uh, uh, of uh, Rabbi Fine's words uh, with uh, this on that poster. Birth is a beginning and death a destination. And life is a journey from childhood to maturity and youth to age, from innocence to awareness and ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion, and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength or strength to weakness and often back again, from health to sickness and back we pray to health again, from offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion and grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat, until looking backward or ahead, we see that victory lies not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey stage by stage a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning and death a destination, but life is a journey from birth to death to life everlasting. The 23rd Psalm will be found on page 576. Adonai, Rawi, Loeb, Sar, Bino, Desha, Yabit, Zeni, Amemenu, Chot, Amemenu, in
Mourning is the price we pay for having the courage to love others. Even in grief, we know that the wonder of human life is too complex and too magnificent to be memorialized in endless pain. The gifts of spirit our loved ones gave us cannot be measured or weighed, nor can they be lost or even tarnished by time. Even in our darkest hours, we know that some of their lights and their warmth will always be with us, bringing comfort and courage and in the fullness of time, healing and peace. Essa and I is across the page on page 577. Esa enai el he harim me ayin me ayin ya ho esui esa enai el he harim me ayin me ayin ya ho esui esui. Adonai, O se shemayim haaretz, Ezri mehim Adonai, O se shemayim Ishmor et nafshecha, Adonai Ishmor, Tzetecha, Uvoecha, Meatava ad Olam. God will guard your soul, Adonai will guard your going and coming now and forever. Our rabbis taught that there are three crowns the crown of Torah, the crown of priesthood, and the crown of royalty. But they emphasize that the crown of a good name excels them all. Pirkei Avot 417. The book of Ecclesiastes says, Shem Tov Mi Shem Tov, a good name is to be treasured above precious oil. Ecclesiastes 7.1. Wealth, health, even life passes away, but a good name lives forever. It is this view that the Talmud teaches Monuments need not be erected for the righteous. Their deeds are their memorials. They will be remembered and revered for the kindness they have shown and for the love they have given. Shaviti will be found on page 578. Yeviti Adonai Lenegit Hamid Kimi Mini Bozemot Lachim Samat Libi Vayagel Kevoti Afbesarish Kon Laveta Kilot And you'll see in our upcoming uh, Yisker, our silent memorial prayer, uh, those same words that Linda just chanted so beautifully, Soba Smachotet Panecha, that uh, may the beauty of their lives shine uh, forevermore. Uh, 
is part of our Yiskor memorial prayer. It is found on page 580. We take an extended moment for our silent Yiskor prayer. I favor this poetic translation of the upcoming El Malay Rachamim prayer. May the source of life, the fountain of all being, open our hearts to compassion and our eyes to wisdom, that we might glimpse in perfect peace and sadness the way of all things. May their memory be for us a blessing and may we never let the light of their love grow dim in our hearts. May we remember all their worthy and righteous deeds, that their memory be forever bound up in the bond of life. God is our source and our destination, our beginning and our end. May their deaths awaken us to this truth that the bond of love we shared and share not be severed in sorrow. May they rest in peace. Together we say, Amen. Page 582 for our El Malay Rachamim prayer. Rachamim Shachem Bamromi Amse Minucha Nifona Taha Kamfera Shina In Kiroshi Mutuharim Kizohar Haraki Mercy. Yaki Renu Shehaku Leo Lahamam Baal Hurahamim Yasti Ren Kisate Kenefab Leo Lamim Bitro Bitro Hakayim at Nishmatam Adonai hu nachalatam v'yanuhu b'shalom ham b'shavam v'nomar amen. I read across the page on page 583. In the rising of the sun and in its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind, 
and in the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as they live, we too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. We turn to page 586. For those able, we invite you to rise for the Elenu, the Elenu that we chant our second paragraph down on the page. Elenu le shabeat la hadarun ha kol a teke du la leot Shalawatsanu kukie hagrat sot, Villa husamanu kemish virchot hadama, Shalaw sam helke nu kahem, Vita hula le nu kirchol hamonam, Banahak nu korim, Umish tahavim humodim. Lifnen melech machhe hamlachim hakadosh baruch hu. Please be seated, page 591. Venemar vehayah Adonai lemelech al koharetz bayom hahu. Bayom hahu, ye had on I had. Ushema, 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 we had. We now call to mind our own beloved dead. And I ask that those in mourning, remembering the anniversary of the death of a loved one, should you wish at home, to rise when their name is mentioned. We note the recent death of Trina Cohan, mother of Rachel Albert, mother-in-law of Jonathan, grandmother of Sarah and Jake, grandmother-in-law of Matthew. During Shloshim, we remember Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Harriet Blum, Calvin Turin, husband of Elaine. This Shabbat and Yom Tov, we remember the yard sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Joseph Brinker, Joseph Cohen, Meyer B. Erlanger Jr., J. Erlanger, David Harris Fine, Morris Friedman, Ida Goldberg, Joseph G. Levin, Edward Siegel, Diane Schwedek, Josephine Smith, Lillian Yarish Kutner. Should you have a dear one to add, please unmute your computer, and please say their names now. Eric Hall. Dolly Stagno. We also remember the dead this week from COVID-19. And each Shabbat, we mentioned six names amongst the six million murdered in the Shoah. We remember Laser Aronofsky, Philip Orlowski, Basia Orlovskaya, Gendla Orlovskaya, Zlata Orlovskaya, and Aaron Orlovsky. In remembrance and solidarity, and on behalf of those for whom there was no one but us to say Kaddish, we invite you to rise if you are able. Our Kaddish prayer found page 598. Yit gadal the yit kadash shemei raba, yeah. rute, yam lich malchute, v'chaye chon v'yome chon, v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agala uvizman kariv imru, amen. Yehe shemei raba mavarach le'olam ulalmei almaya. 
Yit Barach, Vyishtabach, Vyit Pa'ar, Vyit Romam, Vyit Nase, Vyit Adar, Vyit Ale, Vyit Alal, Shemei, Grisha, Brichu. Laela min kol berchata beshirata tushbachata benechamata damiran bi alma mimru amen yehe shlama raba min shemaya bechayim alenu veal kol yisrael mimru amen ose shalom bimromav hu ya ase shalom alenu veal kol yisrael mimru amen. Zichronam Lavracha, may their memories be for blessing, and let us say, Amen. Please be seated. Page 626, Ein Kelohenu is our closing hymn. Ein May God's presence be with you and give you peace. Good yontif and uh, Shabbat Shalom.